Hi, I'm George Pearson, and this is 50 plus Minecraft lamp ideas. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and, of course, share. You can support my channel through Patreon, and don't forget to subscribe. I do a bunch of videos each week. There's my current schedule, and take a look at my graphics training courses as well if you are into using Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. We'll start down here with the most basic of all lamps, which is just the torch on the wall. We'll be getting into much fancier stuff, of course, in just a bit. But lamp on the wall, that's your standard one. You're using your torch right here. You can make this look better by putting it on a picture frame or an item frame right there. Here's your picture frame. There's your item frame. Now with the item frame, you can also put an anvil in there, which makes it look like you have kind of a nice holder on that. Let me show you that. It's a real simple, real basic trick. But to do this, you first want to put your torch on the wall, then add your item frame just here, just outside of the torch like that, and then grab your anvil, and just outside of the torch again, click on that, and that gives you that nice holder right there for your torch. It's a real easy technique but looks great, especially in castles and other types of medieval effects. Like I have this wall in here, kind of a patterned wall using just some standard trap doors here to put paneling on the wall. And then in behind this item frame, there's just a bit of dark oak in there. And the item frame is on that dark oak. So real basic, real simple, but it does look great for that kind of a scene. Now, along with that, you can place your torches on top of all kinds of stuff, like your fence post. There's a spruce fence right there. Just make sure that you put it a ways away from something else. If you're putting it up right next to your fence, you'll get the whole fence showing. You don't want that, so make sure it's not up against anything. You can also use a wall like our prismarine wall right here. Again, same thing as with the fence. As long as you are away from anything like that, you can then put your torch on top and it will look like just a stand. If you have a base for it, just put a block down there and there's your base again very easy stuff real standard stuff in here but real nice now looks a little bit better in here if you use iron bars same trick again you need to be a little bit away from anything else then you get just that single bar so there's the iron bar again to have a nice base on that just put a block down below that will match or go with your iron bar now a little fancier than that is to come in and use one of these end rods when you find these if you're working in creative mode and the end rod has a real nice modern look to it that's a block of iron down below which also matches that very nicely now the end rod does have this strange kind of a glowing effect in here but that also works out well you put your torch on top you can stack two end rods together and that's right here you see we have that kind of little bit on the base here you get that same little bit right up here so you have a little base for your torch right there so lots of ways of using torches that actually look pretty good Something else you can do with torches, and that's to use them on boxes. The ones in the back there kind of look like presents with a candle on top, and of course a TNT, there's your lit fuse as well. Okay, last little bit on the torches, and that's that they also work out very nicely on the bamboo scaffolding. It looks like a nice little table with a torch on top. Okay, let's just begin to expand now on these basic ideas. And here we go. A bit of glowstone and it's on a fence post just like we had our torches but the glowstone does act as a light source and to give it a bit better effect I have some signs put in here on top of that same trick again two fence posts one on top of another so it's too high and then at the top up here we have a sea lantern and then just like I use the signs here I have these banners on the sides making a bit of a light shade for the sea lantern. So as you can see, it's just kind of an advance on the trick we used down there with the torches, just changing our top and adding on these banners. Again, very easy to do, but it has a real nice look to it. If you want a more modern look, again, right down here, that's the end rod. And then this time up here, I have a redstone lamp. Now, a nice thing about the redstone lamp is you can use a light detector on top up here, a daylight detector. Click on that, it lights up. Click it again, and it unlights. So you have a little on-off switch right there for your light. It also works out very well if you want to use this as a street lamp 
Just put that on top of the street, and we'll be talking about that a little later on. Okay, going a little bit further now on this concept, just taking just a few more steps down the road here. Nice little desk lamps. This is something where the end rod right there works very nicely as a desk lamp. This is just a flower pot on top. Again, real nice look. For a little better look, over here, go right there. Now, it's put on backwards. I put this off from the back side, so we have just the black front to it. Let me show you where you'll find that if you're in creative mode. Just open this up here. Go to your decoration blocks. Scroll down just a bit in here. And you'll find your, up towards the bottom down here. There you go, right there. There's your wither skeleton skull right there. And put it on from the back side, and it looks real nice. There's also the standard skeleton skull, which is white. I think the black actually looks better. Other options in here, you can put your own head on a lamp if you already want to, kind of a strange thing, but you can do that. And there's also a zombie head and a creeper head as well, and even the dragon head. But this one here, the wither skeleton head, works out very, very well for this particular look. Just a real nice modern desk lamp effect. Okay, moving on to the right. One more interesting idea. Again, I'm still using that end rod down here. This time on top, I have a magma block. Now, the nice thing about this, as you can see there, it has animation to it, which makes it a real modern look, kind of a mod effect. So if you're doing a, an ultra-modern house on a real mod lamp, there you go. Looks real nice. And last little bit here, using our single rod effect, and that's two of these rods, and then just another decorative block on top for, again, a nice little floor lamp. And last little bit, last little idea here, just a little bit fancier, but not much. And that's doing a jack-o'-lantern in here. Two fences side by side. Torch on top of each one looks like hands and kind of a scarecrow effect. And then at the top right there, that's just a sea pickle, which makes a real nice stem for your jack-o'-lantern. Okay, let's go ahead, take a look now at our second row, and we have some real interesting things back here. This whole row is devoted to using these armor stands, which actually make great stands like that for lamps. And I'll talk you through this whole process right now. It's pretty easy, pretty fun to do, and there's a lot of possibilities with this. So you have your standard armor stand, you place your texture block, whatever you want, above that, and then press that down using a piston. You can see it right here, basic setup. And that puts it down and gives you a nice little stand in here, a little two-legged stand. Okay, let's go ahead and see how this is done first. Let's just get rid of that. There's our armor stand. And then right above that, I'll also put a block right there. That's just a light blue wool. So you have your armor stand, and then your block above that. Right above that is a piston, as you can see right there. And then to put the piston in place, you just need a stack of blocks in behind. And then one coming out the top, you can then place your piston on top. Once you have it set up like that, all you need to do is fire that piston. I'll just use a block of redstone here. So go ahead and click on that. Fires the piston. And it presses that block down onto the armor stand, giving you that really nice lamp effect. You can use anything you want. That's blue, light blue wool. Here's black wool. This looks great as a speaker. I think it looks like it has a real nice kind of a speaker effect just using a black wool like that. And you can also use that sea lantern again right here. The sea lantern is a light source. So it lights up the armor stand as you can see down there. So you can see the armor stand because it's lit by the sea lantern. You can't see it down here. It's dark because it's in shadow underneath that block. So you get black legs with a non-lighting light and you get the standard color down here with a lit light. Kind of interesting little thing. And you can you know use some real fancy ones like our terracotta in here. Real pretty, very decorative, modern looking kind of a lamp. Now that's only halfway on what you can do with this thing. It's a great trick, but it, you can go a lot further with this. And here's the next little bit, and that is to combine multiple armor stands together, giving you even fancier looking stands for your lamps. You can see right down there, three of those real fancy stands. Let me just walk you through this whole process and how you do these kind of really tricky looking, but actually very easy to do, armor stand, which you can then use as a lamp stand. Now I got this idea from a video by Biggs87X. I'll put a link to his video in my description in case you want to see the source for this particular trick.
as you can see, it's a great idea on making real complex looking lamp stands. Okay, let's go ahead now and walk you through this whole process. Let's just move on down. Here's one of these lamp stands. That's the X format. That's that first one right there. Makes a real nice lamp stand. Notice with this that the lamps don't go down quite as far as they did before. So we actually have two levels now. These are shorter ones and these are taller ones. So you have additional aspect there as well. Here's another one. This again has that redstone lamp on top. There you go. So you can light it. Notice as it's lit you can see the stand and if it's unlit the stand goes black. And then down here of course the glowstone sitting on the circular style stand right there. Okay let's go ahead now and build one of these right here to the left side. I'll start off by putting just a stack of blocks in here. There we go. And then let's put the quartz slab right in front of that. Makes a real nice looking base. And the quartz slab, by the way, is the reason why these end up being taller than the other lamps down, down below. You can use the exact same quartz slab technique on those lamps if you want to. Now this works because the armor stand falls. Let's just put it up here like that. That's how it falls into place. It just drops straight down. We can use that little action to go ahead and put in our other armor stand. So I'll just come in here to the side just a bit. Get a real nice position just into the side. You want to be right next to the side like that. So you're right on the side. Click on your back wall there. It drops one down. And it didn't come in quite all the way to the side. Then it got a little bit further on. Drop another one. There we go. So I have two on there now. One is directly sidewards and then one has a slight curve to it. Let's now come around and we'll put one more from this angle in here. And that drops down. And there we go. We now have four stands. One is dropped in from straight, one's dropped in from the side, and then two are dropped in from your two different diagonals. And it gives you this round stand. There we go. Okay, now let's put a block above that. There we go. Now we need to have a block above that block. So for that, let's just put a block up here. Let's get a standard cobblestone. There we go. I'll put that right there. And then come back down again. Grab our piston. There's the reason for that block is to put the piston so it's facing downwards. There it is. Now all we have to do is just fire that piston. Fires a piston and that pushes that block down on top of that stand. And there you go. It's that easy to do. So a great idea, a great look, just using multiple stands. And again, it works because the stands tend to fall down. Let me show that one last time. I just like how this works. Click up there and the stand falls down just like that. Just a touch, click again, and the stand falls down. And they merge together when they fall down. Okay, let's now walk around to our next lane over here. And let's do some more fun lamp ideas. This is all of our lamp stands, the armor stands. Let's look at some ceiling lights. Now different ideas on working with ceiling lights. My favorite ceiling light is that sea lantern right there. It looks kind of like a fluorescent light, kind of basic fluorescent light idea. Now to give this drop down effect, what I have is a series of slabs right there at the top end of the slab and that puts the sea lamps in there, or sea lanterns, so that they drop down underneath. Now to the left of this over here, exact same idea, but this time I put the slabs down one, one notch and the sea lanterns are in the exact same place as you can see, but this time because the slabs are down one notch, it means that the sea lanterns are flush with the ceiling. So two different ways of using those sea lanterns right there, flush or not flush. I think it has a real nice effect. You can go a bit further on this one, and this is just a little bit fancier, and that's that in here, where the sea lanterns are up there it, inside of the ceiling or above the ceiling. Again, I'm using slabs, and this time I'm using glass blocks down here, and these glass blocks look like they are, you know, glass covers for lamps, and then your sea lanterns are up there. We'll see how this is done. Let's just back up a touch here and go up. There you go. There's your slabs at the top setting so that we can then put those glass blocks down below and then the sea lanterns just sitting on top of those glass blocks and it gives you that real nice kind of modern 
lighting effect and of course because those are sea lanterns they do emit light so they will light up your room for you okay taking these basic ideas just a little bit further kind of going along with that glass look they have a couple of beacons up here now these beacons of course don't light up because they're beacons you'll have to have you know diamond around them or something else to make them light up so they're just used just as impractical lighting but they look good and again same idea I have these slabs at the top half of the block and then these are placed right in below now these won't go into just the side of the slab so to make this work I have to have something above those so just a couple of slabs on top and then those beacons are attached to those slabs on top and it gives you a real nice actual look in there now if you want to have this room actually lit up you can put in sea lanterns down below here and then cover those up with carpet and that will then light your room up just as well so you can have your light and have your interesting looking lights as well one last quick idea on this whole idea of these recessed lights and that's just using different kinds of lights in here and on the right hand side we have our glowstone right there looks real nice kind of a modern look and on the left hand side we have these redstone lamps and they have a little more of an ethnic look to them so it goes well with kind of a darker wood maybe a tile floor like that terracotta tile floor I'll give us a few ideas on working with different ways of using ceiling lamps let's now take a look at using the lantern which is a great lighting source it actually lights up but it's also very decorative as well and it has some of those back over here a whole section of working with these lanterns here's a couple of restaurant designs using our terracotta in there a nice restaurant and then a wood ceiling again using wood slabs to give us that beam look in the ceiling and these lanterns look great when they're up here against a wooden ceiling real nice look to that now to finish that off of course I have a table in here and just a torch torches work well on these kind of tables as well now here's something which is kind of new and that's the item frames can now be placed flat on a surface and it acts like a tray or a placemat and then I have sitting inside that just a couple of snowballs right there which look like plates sitting on top of a table so it's a real interesting way of making a restaurant look we can take that a little further over here this time I'm using the old standard fence post and torch as a wall sconce again works out very very well in this kind of an environment old standard look but work, looks really well works really well and again there's the lanterns up on top on that wooden ceiling okay to the left just a bit more in here a few more ideas here with lanterns and one interesting thing about this I wanted to point out there is a little chandelabra again made just using fences and then hanging the lanterns from the bottom of that fence again real easy design to do looks great but here's the interesting thing about this there's a lantern on a post there's a lantern on two posts those look good but notice the top up here right there when it's on a post you have just one little bit of a top thing up here if it's up onto a beam like this then you have just a little piece of chain not much if it's over here and it's on the bottom of a fence post you have a much longer chain so the chain actually changes depending upon how you're using the lantern a kind of a neat neat effect so here it is without any chain just a little top piece here it is with the chain only difference is this one is placed on top of a post and this one's placed on the bottom of a post so there we go just some different ideas for restaurants in here okay let's take a look at a few more things down here just a few more finishing off some ideas some basic ideas again using our fence post designs making outdoor lighting there's a whole bunch of fence posts for them on top glowstone on top and then right there just a trap door to make some design around that you can do it an older style here you can do a more modern style there's that sea lantern and again just some those trap doors here's the design as a street light now this uses that redstone lamp and if I click on the daylight sensor at the top you can turn that on and off now what that sensor does is if there's daylight outside it will turn off like that 
and if it goes to nighttime, it will then turn on. So you actually have a working street light using those redstone lamps. There we go. Okay, well this last little idea over here, kind of finish things off, just adding a few more details, making your street lights look a bit fancier. Just glowstone, a couple of stairs in there, and again, using those trap doors. So there you go. There's 50 plus different ideas you can do using all kinds of different lighting tricks in here to make some different lamps for all kinds of different uses, modern uses and more rustic, more themed uses, and of course some real basic standard stuff as well to start this whole video off. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and hit share. You can support my channel through Patreon. Make sure you subscribe and I do a lot of videos each week. A lot of them on Minecraft and a lot of them on other graphics programs like Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. And I also have training courses for different graphics programs and you'll find links for that right down there in the description.